welcome to the uh, second episode of By Shadows Light. We are uh, ready and raring to go. My wonderful players are all in position. Captain, uh, Captain, my Captain, Captain, how are you doing, Till? I'm doing great. Looking forward to see if we can outmaneuver the situation that we have brought ourselves in. Um, let's see. Let's see, indeed. And uh, engineer, I can't do it. <laughs> Rika works. <laughs> Rika, how are you doing, Tobias? I am doing fine. I am not looking forward to piloting these drones around, trying to pick people up in pods when we really should be picking up the pods, but we have no space. So, doing the best of the situation. Doing the best of the situation. Uh, currently being bled on is uh, your character, Mitch. How, how are you feeling about that? Yellow is prepared to give CPR, even though he doesn't know what that is. But he is ready. He's moistened his lips. He's put on some like little gloss on. He's asked Daisy for advice on how to you know, expel air appropriately as he's screaming and running. He's ready to help with the medical situation. He has no training, but he's ready. Let's be Yellow's first kiss. No, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> um, I was just about to say that. That now we're good. No, okay, here we go. <laughs> it's the thing now. And uh, Nova, how 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 is Nova feeling, Kai? I'm following intergalactic law and picking up these people, and that's about as far as I feel about this. What are feelings? Wait, I you really have do. feelings? <laughs> exactly. I do. Barry. I'm just not overly pleased. I want to get on with this job. Her, I, I think I sense her range is like mildly annoyed to extremely pissed off. That's like <laughs> about where she kind of lays. I'm just saying. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> probably <feel>. right. <laughs> <laughs> so I was doing some really awesome maneuvers earlier and I feel really proud of myself, but just a day's work. Indeed. Just a day's work. Well, there we go. Can't ask for more than that, can we? Right. Well, let's leap into it as, um, yes, there is debris floating all around. And the ship is quite some distance from the battle, which you're not entirely sure exactly what uh, the outcome is going to be of that. The scans that are presented show a jumbled mess of ships. It's difficult to tell if there is a clear winner or not. Uh, we find young Yellow. Oops, he's actually on the wrong deck now. Yellow is down below in the med bay with the one survivor that he has managed to take with him. That is the Dwarvashian survivor. Up above deck, or on the main deck, I should say, we find Rika with the three Sejeti that have been transprinted aboard, all heavily armed. I should inform you, our companions are heavily armed. I was just Sis. about to say that to the captain. Daisy, <laughs> the ship's AI. Screw you, computer! <laughs> <laughs> I will not repeat what the computer says! It is not my job! <laughs> All right, Rika, what are you doing? These three Sujeti are in a defensive position. They're looking at the strange murals which Yellow had projected up onto the walls and the display well, screens of their home system. Since uh, Daisy took my job, there's, there's just this ever so slightly longer pause before Rika says something. It's just long enough that you notice she's annoyed. And then she will say... Um, with that in mind, Tidoho, what do you want me to do? Continue scanning or deal with those? Oh no, I think I think we have what we need. We have uh, some of both fractions on board, and we're running here a bit into trouble. So let's. Can you try to disarm them somehow, or convince them to drop their weapons? Are Are you asking me to walk into a room with three? Heavily armed, said Yeti. Uh, no, I was suggesting using the comp first, but um, if you want to walk in, um, feel free. 
I will do what I can, Tidoho. Captain, you are being sarcastic, right? I'm, I, I could walk in there, Captain, if you want. That's fine. No, 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 no. You take you, you take care of you take care of the bleeding Vovashian. Um and yes, no, I was. Um I will I don't know recall if she the understands drones. our type of uh, sarcasm. Yeah. I will oh, recall the thing. drones and then head over to the other transporting room so I can communicate with these people. All right. It's easy enough. You recall the drones with the touch of a button. Step across into the other transprint room where uh, you can see the three of them. They haven't really moved. One of them has dropped to his or her knees and is pointing this really large pulse rifle at the main door. The other two are standing and pretty much pointing in the same direction. Uh, Captain, do you want me to go over the comms and say that we were able to save these survivors or we're going for another Sajeti survivor thing and it might calm them down? Another survivor pod. Yeah, sure. So I'll page over to that cell. Sure. I'm like, able to save three Sajeti survivors. We're going for the next pod for Sajeti survivors. Please hold. If the Sajeti could move off the pad, that'd be wonderful for their arriving compatriots. <laughs> Thank you for flying with Air Hammerhead. <laughs> <laughs> or sorry space hammerhead you watch Please, pictures of your home world <laughs> you watch as the first one steps off of the transprinter checks the door and then walks over to the glass display which is one-way glass unless you want it to become transparent and then the other two follow suit and the one it obviously can recognize that this is a quarantine room there's two doors on either side. There's the transprinter behind it. There's a mirror in here that's showing pictures of, and it bangs on the glass. Well, they're about to have a rude awakening. Um, I turn off the display and um, open the glass. Uh, basically, they will be able to see me. Absolutely. I don't know if Sajeti has ever seen a session, but they're about to. <laughs> They are attempting to communicate with you. Should I open up the uh, internal communications within that chamber? Yes, please. Thank you. Daisy opens up the internal comms. Please, what ship are we on? We must know what is this ship. Where have we been brought to? I am Captain Ciro. I need to speak with your captain immediately. Welcome aboard. Zero. This is a transport vessel, the Miss Daisy. Uh, please hold in this room while we search for other survivors. You are safe and you will be brought to your superiors as soon as we have secured all the survivors. Do not bring aboard any more survivors. It is a trap. One of them is a saboteur. You must destroy the pods at once. Understood. And I will turn the glass back on again, or the glass display again. again. And then I will, uh, Tidoho, we have a problem. Oh, we have several. What? What's now? Apparently, one of um, the pods is uh, harboring a Sejeti saboteur. And we have been asked to destroy the pods. You should uh, probably relay this to their Tido. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I will come back to you in a second. I hear this over the comm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're in the same room as the captain. So I'll message captain and be like, Captain, we have on uh, the other two, there's three pods. Two of them have two people and one would have one, but the saboteur have escaped alone then we can narrow down who is a saboteur and maybe save other people. I will well, open it uh, comes to the transporter room and ask, is the saboteur alone in his bod? Before he answers, we go below deck to the medical bay where 
Yellow is dealing with a particularly violent spray <laughs> of <laughs> Dwarvesian fluids and things. Uh, would you please give me a medical check as you go about trying to he, save he, this? He, he's talking to Daisy. He's like, what? Oh, Daisy. We have to get into the uh, get into the process, Daisy, of, of saving this individual's life. From now on, you call me the doctor, and I'm gonna put in uh, six points into uh, into this role to try to save this person. Uh, hey! Seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> wow. You. Know you uh, no. <laughs> yeah. You. 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 You've seen way too many hollow vids on. Uh, medical shows so you know to prep and prime him stat and <laughs> seal the flow and I can stuff. imagine I, I reach for the paddles like every couple seconds she's like, <laughs> and Dave's like no stop <laughs> every, every <time>. <laughs> <laughs> once the patient is stabilized we can then proceed to investigate the cause of the bleeding Apply a dermal regenerator to various parts of the body where you might see sanguination occurring. So it's it, so Daisy. From what I understand, it's kind of like reverse blowing up a ship. You just kind of like put things on it and make it stop. Is that my understanding? That is correct, the doctor. I got it now. I'm in the zone. That is called a repairing. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, can, you can hear me. <laughs> you busy you working working with this Dorvash. There's this large medical arm scanner which you move over him, and as it detects various broken bits of flesh and skin, it starts to repair those. It's quite literally just printing out new new skin and and tissue. And having gone through this process maybe once or twice before in your life. Although it looks like it's sealing the wound, it is indeed sealing the wound, but it basically feels like hot lead is being poured inside of your body for about four days as your organs acclimatized to this new printed flesh. Can it's I make a, a culture very, check? You can indeed. For the door, the door vision. Dwarvashian, yeah. Dwarvashian. Uh, and I'm going to try to see if I can, like, you know, say some words of inspiration from an old hero, general or admiral. I'm just gonna say please, please muck this up. Please muck this up. Seven. Seven. Were you going for a Dwarvashian general? Yeah, something of like their from their home world that like of like a, you know uh, like a World War Two kind of general. That's like that kind of like very obscure. Oh my god! Could you imagine you something Yellow you King showed Hitler? Me. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> something the Yellow King showed me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that would be that. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Oh, so no. yes, you you try and inspire this Dwarvesh, and at one point he looks up at you, and uh, he says, uh, "Listen, laddie, you can stop with the talking. It, 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 it's fine. I I really appreciate it, but I, I just <sighs> I got you now. The doctor's in the house. <laughs> Technically, this is a starship, but the analogy is accurate. You have saved his life. We should make a sign and call it the house." right over the medical bay, just put it smack over there, put some bolts into it, no, no difference. I will record your request in the captain's request log. Good Which is oh, 3,000 no, requests. Yeah. That must have been <laughs> from yellow. <Yellowstone. laughs> Back up uh, as you, as you looking at his vitals and things, you see that everything, that there's an overlay of what is normal for Dwarvashian, and then there is an overlay of what this one's stats are. And his are a lower, but they seem to be slightly increasing every now and again. Uh, it looks as if he will survive. It's at that point that one of the arms inserts a sedative, and he he literally falls asleep. Okay. I was going to see if we have to do like a radiology or something like that to make sure. No, still... you're good. You're good. You're good. That medicine check was fantastic. I, 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 it, it's, it's more than enough. Back up on the upper deck what is uh happening uh rika you are seeing these ones banging on the glass you asked them which pod was the saboteur in no i specifically asked if the saboteur was alone oh that's right yes he escaped the ship. we have no way of knowing which pod the saboteur was in i just know he was not with us and he was in the escaping group understood 
Tidoho, we have no way of knowing where the saboteur is. Well, let's let's believe them for now that he is not as one of the three on board of our ship right now. I was not intending to pick up more, so that should not be a problem. Understood. Do we leave the remaining pods? Or do we destroy them? No, we do not destroy them. Um, we're still, we're still, uh, uh, we're still just not military vessel here. So we will not start shooting at pots. That will possibly turn all the arms against us. Um, With your permission, I will leave these individuals in the transprinter bay. Uh, because they they are heavily armed. Well, yeah, leave them in there, but keep eyes on them. And As by the way, um, I wanted to talk to the uh, transprinter B first. Absolutely. So yes, you. It's easy enough to open up communications to the transprinter B. Rika is there, or you want to talk to the the inhabitants to, of the actual printer. I want to talk to Captain Zero. Yes, absolutely. You uh, okay. open up communications. No problem. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Captain Ohu from the Miss Daisy. We have rescued you, uh, and you are currently in our transporter, uh, transprinter bay. Um, we have a Sajeti Scorpion arming at us um, or aiming at us. Would you please uh, relay the information to the Scorpion, Captain, that they should not open fire while we have you on board? I am deeply grateful that you saved me and my men, Captain, and brought us aboard your vessel. I am but a lowly captain. I doubt my word would carry much with the commander of a scorpion vessel. Merely... Well, we, just, we just want to prove that we have some Sajeti on board, and um, you will do just quite fine for that. So, uh, channel is open. Here you go. To the captain of the scorpion that is following this vessel. I am Captain Ciro and I am authorizing or approving that we are alive and unharmed aboard this ship. And cut. Thank you. You do. Really good. I, you saved our lives. We should do everything to help. If you captain... want to. Yes. Just a minute. Um, if you want to have more comfortable quarters, um, I would recommend that you hand over your weapons or you put your weapons to the ground and step back from them so we can transport them off, transprint them off the ship. Um, then you are more than welcome to accompany our um, very dangerous security officer, Rika, um, and he will lead you to uh, your quarters where you can then remain seated. Captain, I feel it important to indicate to you that Rika is actually of the feminine gender of the thesis species. It is a yeah, common mistake. making a mental note to teach the captain something about anatomy. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that, thank you very much, Daisy. That was really helpful. Rika, my apologies. Um, could you please escort them if they leave their weapons on the transport uh, transprinter bay? Um, could you escort them to uh, some quarters and make sure that they stay in there? Do you wish me to bring them to the brig? No, 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 no. We don't want to lock them up. We just want to make sure that they are somewhere safe um, and without weapons. As you wish. We have you, those quarters for the crew that are near my room that's not being unused. We could block them in there. Yeah, that's yeah. that's good. So I will open comms to the transprinter bay and I will ask them to put their weapons on the transprinter transprinter pads, and then I will observe them and see what they do. And if they do this, I will simply go and open the doors and escort them out. I won't actually transprint their weapons away. All right. They certainly do to, to put their pulse rifles onto the transprinter. 
and then back away with their hands raised as they wait to watch them being transprinted out. Since that doesn't happen, but you have, as you say, gone around to the doors. As you open the doors, the one who has been doing all of the speaking uh, steps forward. If you would follow me. I wish to speak to your captain as soon as possible. It is of vital importance. I will relay this information, but please follow me. And I he will nods. lead them to the quarters indicated. All right. And then you're going to take them off to the quarters. Nova, what are you doing whilst all of this is going on? Um, I'm going to just message or look at the captain. Like, Captain, are you sure you don't want to go pick up the other Dwarvish ship? Or I understand why we wouldn't pick up any of the other Sajeti, but... Well, I think we've we've already maneuvered us in a situation here. Now we have the Dwarvish who are demanding that we drop Dwarvish people, um, Dwarvish people. Um, we now have Sajeti on board. I think this can quickly escalate if we bring too many on board. All right, but we only have one Dwarvish and three Sajeti and they seem to be all behaving accordingly. Well, you're right. We could we could try to make it more equal. Can you scan for a for a pot that has at least two more Dwarveshian? Uh We already scanned the other ship and it had three, correct? Correct. All right, I can maneuver us back to that one, and I can probably ask Daisy to shoot off the other one and transport it. Trans. Uh, Printers. Be, yes, transprint them. Well, yeah. Captain, may I remind you that uh, cage fights are illegal in most of the universe? We have cage fights on Just this kidding. ship. <laughs> so is What's going on in... here? Why wasn't I invited? <laughs> so so didn't make a good enough lunch, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, so. That was a joke. Sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah, just Nova, make sure that if you if you maneuver us next to try try to stay um, not too obvious maneuvering towards one of the specific um I can shoot uh, the transport from here with daisy's help she i'm sure she has like perfect precision yeah, yes I'm you just... can it just will take a long time for the little drone because these are these are drones designed to fly around the ship not to fly out to pods so i'm going to ask you to give me um i'm going to ask you to give me a sleight of hand check please nova as you Try and fly casual, but not too casual, but casual, but fly near to pick them up, <laughs> but not casual. sexy casual. Sexy okay. casual. Okay. Uh, sure uh, fly check. <laughs> Seduction check. Okay. Um, I'm going to put five physical into this. She's I'm holding on do... to those controls. Uh, what was this sleight of hand? That yep. is eight. Eight. All right. Not bad. <laughs> You think you do it slyly. I have dispatched the drone, Captain. And uh, you watch as the little drone goes out to the pod. It ejects the little ball. Rika, it has been a very straightforward walk. These individuals have not protested in any way, shape or form. As you get them into the quarters, again, that one who is being very, very emphatic uh, speaks to you. Um, and uh, says I really must speak with your captain as I said I will relay this information please be patient the other one seems to put a hand on the captain's shoulder and not drag him but guide him away from you because <laughs> he can see that there's, there's, he's not I am backing out the door, and I'm locking the door behind me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or uh, technically in front of me, since I'm backing out. But yes. yes. And I then, will monitor as I'm the door. Back to the, as I'm walking back to the transprinter, I will call up the captain, and I will say, our guests are in their, their quarters. Um, the, the captain really wants to speak with you. Okay, thank you. Nova, can I leave the bridge in your hands while I speak to the captain? Of course. Okay, thank you. And I will head over to the um, to the room. To the captain. All right. 
Meanwhile, I'll go collect the weapons and stash them in the engine room. <laughs> nice. All right. Make a note. You have three Sajeti pulse rifles. Yes. Those are worth quite I'll the I'll put it in the uh, equipment on the ship because I'm not going to carry that around. No. <laughs> Yellow, you you have stabilized uh, your patient down down below. I finished si singing him uh, a dwarver song as I uh as i have done you know with the help of daisy obviously and now i'm kind of hearing the conversations between pinging back and forth i want to know if the shijeti uh, have certain breaching capabilities on their suits so like what are what is usually their kit without the pulse rifle maybe they won't be as dangerous but they might have like some things up their sleeve that not many people know about uh you can give me a history check sure. Uh, I'm going to put three points into this. Sure. I got a 11. 11. It's the various houses that make up the Sujeti Empire. Each suit is designed very specifically per house. In general, however, they are more of an environmental containment suit than anything else. There is very little information shared outside of the Sujeti people themselves as to the exact specifics of each suit. However, there are power cells that are part of the suit. There are uh, air filtration systems as well. Combined together, you could, in theory, because there's a power cell, create a, an explosive of some kind. How powerful that, po that power cell is, is oftentimes determined by the suit itself. But other than that, they are not known to be Batman suits with lots of different gizmos and gadgets. They, they're they much more functional. I'm going to go uh, onto the comms and message the captain and say, uh, Cap, just letting you know, uh, just for, you know, so an experimental sake, those ships can, or those suits can be used with their power cells to create little makeshift bombs. So if the saboteur were in fact on that, in that group themselves, well, you know, that would cause some problems for us. Just letting you know. Uh, thank you, Yellow. Where do you head from the, uh, there, Yellow? I'm going to go back up the captain. All right. Nova, you are in control of the ship. You have seen the little pod uh, attach itself. Shall I transprint aboard the surviving Dwarf Ash? Mm. Rika? Are you close to the uh, transporters? Yes. All right, transport the lab. The Dwarvash appear in the transprinter uh, in the appropriate side. Uh, Rika, do you go back to the trans to the transprinter? Yes, I went back and collected the weapons. And yes. then I went and stashed them in engineering, and then I went back to the... You come running back. Well, I'm at this point. I'm probably just heading back through the corridors because not that much time has passed. Yes. So can I, see when I get the message from Nova? I will just go to the transprinter bay. Absolutely. And yes, you can. Screen? Okay. You have I video feed all over the place. So yes. Are they armed as well? These three arrive. They also badly wounded, damaged. Yeah, it, it looks like they've definitely taken taken the biggest knock. Uh, the Sujeti that came aboard barely looked scratched. All right. Uh, I'm going to do something similar to what Yellow did and just start messaging like, um, you've been brought aboard the Miss Daisy. We're here to rescue you as an intergalactic law dictates. Uh, please remain in your uh, cells and we will be with you shortly to give you medical attention. Um, bye. <laughs> <laughs> She's not Yellow. <laughs> she didn't know it. <laughs> It's amazing. All right. All she right. sounds like the most disinterested stewardess ever. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't do people. No. She doesn't really care. Captain. I'm more charming than you, and I'm an insect. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, you arrive at the door to the uh, quarters. Do you go in? Yes, I will go in. Captain Yellow, lock this door. Shall I override? Yes, please. Door slides open. The Sujeti look and they see that it's someone different. Immediately, one of them strides forward. You can tell that he is clearly the leader here. 
he he is is used to 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 being in charge yeah um, i would put up my like really really um like self aware and 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 i would just put up my hand and i would shake his hand i have no idea if that is a tradition or not um but i would be like you must be kept zero as you are shaking his hand the other two behind him you can see very nervously they're not entirely sure what to do about you shaking this individual's hand he however seems to be unperturbed by the the, the, the shake that is correct i am captain zero and i believe that you are our rescuer for which i am in your debt for a thousand thousand cycles of our imperial sums however captain i must impress upon you there is a saboteur that has been aboard our ship i believe he is in the surviving escape pods that ejected with us i don't know which one i suggest you simply obliterate the remaining pods well talking about um your graciousness and your thankfulness for rescuing you we will come back to that later right now um i can assure you that we do not have any more capacities to bring more survivors on board so i am not capable of um rescuing more of them also i'm not really willing to blow up rescue pods while a lot of your ships have their weapons um aimed at us so right now um I would suggest that you wait here until we have the situation sorted and we can return you safely. He nods. Obviously, he is defeated. Now, to give you a basic idea of a Sajeti uniform, the the whole body is covered in it's almost like a gold foil uniform, gold shiny plated armor and but there are lots of LED lights that run through it in interesting and intricate patterns. Then what differentiates them, because the face mask completely covers the entire face, there is a, a single bar across the center of it. It's almost like a diamond faceplate that allows them to see out, but you can't see in. Uh, the thing that differentiates them is that they wear these incredibly elaborate silken not ponchos, but like scarves that are intricately woven in and amongst their, their armor. So it's almost impossible to tell what the person is doing behind the mask. But from his body language, it looks as if he has accepted that you're not going to blow up stuff. And so now he might as well wait it out. To what planet are you thinking of returning us, Captain? Uh, well, we were heading um, to Kazakom Dias. So I assume that unless uh, the battle resides early and is won from your fraction, hopefully, hopefully, of course, um, I will return you to one of their ships. Otherwise, we will drop you off at Kazakom Dias. He looks at you or at the wall behind you. You're not sure. Captain, I am uncertain as to whether Kasakam Deus is a viable option. Are you heading oh. anywhere towards the Brunei territories? No, we have a we have a cargo run to do. Um unless you well, um make a better bid um, on 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 our costs, then we we will finish our cargo run. If you have a better offer, I'm happy to hear. I have no such offer to make. I am a humble captain in the Empire's Guard. I would not be able to compete with the cargo run. Well, Casa Camteos will be suitable. Thank you, Captain. Yeah. Have, have, have a good time on board. Um, if you need something, uh, yellow is a great cook. Um, a little spicy sometimes, but I think that's okay. Um, have a seat. I will come back to you as soon as we've sorted the situation. 
May the Pharos guide your ship. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much and um, happy to have you on board. He waves his hand in front of his visor and then points it towards you, bows, and then the doors seal. Yeah, I will do the same thing. And um, once the door are sealed, I will say, Daisy, could you please lock the doors? Are you sure it's not too spicy, Captain? Well, <laughs> I love you, Daisy. It's really great having you uh, as our ship. Uh, I'm so glad that the previous captain did not get rid of you. Um, please lock the doors. The door is sealed, Captain. I should also Captain. indicate that it would be prudent to inform you the other guests have arrived. Thank you. I will head over to the um, uh, transprinting bay. All right. And so we find ourselves, Rika, the Dwarvish, uh, Dwarveshians have put down, they didn't have any weapons. They've basically okay. put themselves down as they've collapsed onto the floor. They just look tired and relieved to be here. In that case, I will, uh, yeah, what will I do? They're here. It, it, I mean, I'm not a medical expert in any way. I do have xenobiology. Can I make any kind of judgment on how critically they are in need of medical attention? Sure. Give me a xenobiology check. Your judgment of the Dwarvashian condition. Natural 12. Ah. That's 13. <laughs> there you are. It looks as if these are suffering from... Possibly radiation burns across most of the exposed flesh. It also, although they are traditional Dwarvashians, these are wearing technicians' suits. They're not in full-on body armor like the first one that you brought aboard. And yes, it, they were surprised. <laughs> they, yeah, absolutely. Possibly techies uh, of one division or another. But they don't look like they're in any condition to fight. They they really look like they have been beaten and battered quite quite severely. In that case, I will head out of the transparent way and go towards the door. Since I can see they're not armed, they're not yep. in any shape to fight, I no. believe I can take them if it would be a problem. And I will likely meet the captain on the way. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll connect the two of you up. Nova, you are in you're the only one on the bridge. At I this am. present moment in time. Just flying casually. Just <laughs> flying casual. Uh, the scorpion ship, has it shifted? It has not. It's still holding... Um, it still appears to be maneuvering to maneuver away from you. But, yeah, it's pretty obvious it doesn't seem to be leaving the area anytime soon. It's watching what you do very clearly. All right. Keeping an eye on that, and since we've already brought in all people we're going to, I'm going to message the captain and be like, Captain, do you want me to relay the notes of the saboteur to the scorpion ship so they can deal with their own? Um, I'm not sure, Nova. Uh, what, what, what would be the benefit for us relaying that information? They can take care of their own. We wouldn't have to take them in and we wouldn't be blamed for not not taking them in and that way they can deal with it yeah and possibly that's a good idea let them know that we have been warned and that one of their captains told us that we should not rescue more of the people um so that we are now putting a halt to that yeah. and that way they can take care of it because if i was had saboteurs on my ship i would not be happy about it i don't yeah. know all right and so i will relay that so I'm going to buzz over to the scorpion ship. Absolutely. You start to relay that. Yellow jumps in on the conversation. I, I say, oh, Captain, I just want to let you know that sometimes when you uh, you camouflage in plain sight and you blame everybody else. So when I used to steal meals back in the slave market, uh, me and Julia, I mean, we always said that we were the ones look on the lookout for the guards, but we were, we were the ones taking the food, if you catch my meaning. Just saying, yeah. we should keep our eyes wide open. Are you sure open. you're not hive minded, Yellow? Rika says. Well, well, I could be anything you want, Rika, but whatever makes you like me more, I'll be. That's what I'll do for you. 
Speaking of which, I made a snack for you, Rika. It has a lot of peppers in it. And I wonder if you wanted to have it because apparently my stuff's too spicy. And he like, kind of goes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that cut me deep. <laughs> Perhaps think of food later. Okay. All right, Rika. You, you're the, you're, you're the wool man. You got it. Nova, I have calculated the probability of the Sajeti fleet surviving this encounter with the Dwavash. I believe I have discovered something interesting. Do tell. I believe it was the Sajeti who attacked the Dwavashian fleet first. So you mentioned they had a saboteur. Do you think it was the saboteur who attacked the Dwavash ship first? There is a probability of that occurrence. As far as reports on the activities in this area are concerned, there was supposed to be a training exercise between the two fleets in a friendly gesture. This was scheduled to take place three days ago. All right. Uh, I want you to page uh, the captain of the Scorpion ship. The captain is on standby. All right. Does that mean I can talk to them? Yes. All right, open the comms. <laughs> this is the captain. What can I do for you? Captain, this is the first mate, Nova. How are you today? Well, she's trying. <laughs> Middle of the battle. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, it's, I'm fine. <laughs> Who is this? First mate, Nova of the uh, Miss Daisy. We have some of your survivors on our ship. Yes, we, I'm uh, aware. We have received reports from uh, th th your survivor, Captain Zero, Zero, is that his name? Zero, yes. Yes. He says that one of the pods that are currently still flying out there may contain the saboteur. Does that mean anything to you? Thank you for that information. I He's advise gonna... you to increase the distance between yourself and the remaining pods by at least 10,000 kilometers. Whoops. Roger that, Captain. Uh, where would you... Uh, does this... What happened? Why is there a spike going on? As you are talking to him, the tactical battle display is presented behind you. And on in text... Daisy writes, the Sajeti are likely to lose this outcome. Delaying the captain here is denying them a potential victory. That's all that, he, that D Daisy puts up on the screen. All right. Captain, we're going to continue to move out of the proximity of those pods. Um, you can continue your business with your people. I want to thank you for saving the captain. Is there anything you want us to relay to your people if this goes badly for yours? Make sure Captain Zero gets to his destination. And what would that be? That is between you and Captain Zero. Very well. Good luck, sir. Well, close comms. Are we in range of... Uh, I can't remember the right name right now. Internet. <laughs> The coordinate. The internet. Yeah, the, the coordinate. coordinate. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I was like, I was trying desperately to remember what the hell. Was... <laughs> anyway, the coordinate. Are we in range of that? Yes, you are. You're still within the second circle. Yep. Right. Do they have Twitter so we can figure out what's going on? No. <laughs> Some of the tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was more um, actually going to ask Daisy to run a check on this Captain Zero. See what she can. It can find out about this captain. Where I is will from? scan all databases, including social. Thank you. I'm going to relay the message to the captain that I'm moving away from the pods under the advisement of the other captain. Okay, so they're now firing on the pods. Well, um, I assume that they're going to fire on all pods, um, which means are there still Dwarvashian um, pods? No, we received the other Dwarveshian pod. We are safe to get away from here. Okay, perfect. Um, then let's well, there out. are other Dwarveshian pods. Just yeah, not but I think we scanned those. them, right? They are empty. We just have yeah. those two. We just have the yeah. two. Um, Captain, you should know that Miss Daisy has let me know that 
uh, the Sujeti started the fire, what was supposed to be a friendly training exercise between the two. Uh, they're all of a sudden turned into a great war. It might be the saboteur who initiated this. Um, they said that Zero would know more. It is never easy, is it? I know, sir. Can I please go now? Yes, sure. Wait, where where, where are you going? They suggested that we get about 10,000 kilometers oh, away you from mean those pods, and I'm going to do so. Yes, please. please. Are we I still thought making... you were leasing, uh, leaving, leaving your station. Please do not leave your station, but get us out of proximity. Wait, yes, they sir. have a Scorpion, which is the closest ship, which is essentially a long-range bomber. Um, hurry up. Yes, sir. Um, are we still headed towards our, our drop destination, Captain, or are we making a, another direction? Um, I think right now we're heading into Dwar Dwarveshian space, right? Mm -hmm. That is correct. You are heading so, in the opposite direction to your original sort of destination. Um, is there is there like neutral space nearby yes. that we could move to? Absolutely. If you uh, head effectively directly north, you will eventually get out of Dwarvashian space and be in the breach between Lee 4, uh, Gregin, and Knum Tahep Sai. Yeah, I think that's... that's Noah, what do you think about um, getting us out of territories right now? I think it's a good idea, Captain, because this might start a fallout war. Who knows? Yeah. So do that's... you want me to... Are we far enough from the fight that we'd be able to jump to the quantum stream, Daisy? You are within a safe distance of the principal debris. There may be Captain. a small error of potential for quantum tear. Captain, is that all right with you? If we get the hell out of here as fast as we can? Yes, absolutely. Hold on to something. Are you going to make the uh, quantum drive check, or would you like Daisy to do it? Uh, it is I a quantum you? streams check. Can I, uh, can I assist? Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna assist. Uh, Let's hope just... they shoot slowly. Wow. All right. Daisy <laughs> got a 12. Oh, wow. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to put two mental and make a roll to help. Right. I rolled an eight. An eight. Okay, that is enough to help. So what is your total score in Quantum Streams? Quantum Streams have a plus two. All right, plus the two spirit that you put into it gives you a four, bringing the grand total from 12 uh, to 16. And I'm just busy checking now, and 16 is more than sufficient. So just to be absolutely clear on where you are going, you are jumping from Gregan one, two systems away uh, into empty space, basically. Sort of yeah, so you see those little hexagons in the background? Yeah. So I want to go up one from Gregan. Yes. And then where that little try where they all connect between like yes. Tim Top and them, that's where I'm aiming for. Perfect. So that I got you. Space. I in got the middle you. of dead space. Awesome. In the middle, middle of... of dead space. Yeah, that's a word. Near a screen. That's a word. And you are in second circle space. So that will take you one, yeah, let's call it two. So it's going to take you a flight of two hours. While, while the map is up, what was the, what was the destination that Captain Zero um, suggested? He just wanted to go to Brunei space. space, which is oh. Howden Lee, uh, Howden 2, Lee 4, Tull Alpha, or Snapser. This blue territory okay. in the north. Any one of those those territories. So okay. we're technically going into that direction right now. Kind of, right. but you will still be a, a few hours away. Sorry, I sure. miscalculated. It's going to take you four hours unless you want to increase the jump time, in which case then there is a risk of tear. Nope. Nope. No. Do not want. Well, Nova, you're the one activating it. It's your call. Uh, I'll just do normal time. Normal time. All right. So that means that there is... Okay, would you please roll 2d12 and just don't roll snake eyes? So just don't roll ones? Don't roll two mm -hmm. ones, correct. If you do, there's a quantum tear. 12 and an 8. 
There you go. You jump into the dive and very rapidly space just dissolves. And there's this weird distended feeling as you're being micro moved quantum particle by quantum particle through space and time. And four hours pass, although you're unaware of it, it feels almost instantaneous. And suddenly you drop out. Quantum dive complete. We have arrived at our destination. Quantum tear 0.000%. 000 Perfect. Captain, we are in uh, neutral territory. Ah, perfect. That's just perfect. Let's let's hold position here for for at least some time. I would like to talk to the Dwarveshians now. Absolutely. All right. Can I do can I power down the ship so it goes like it's silent mode? Okay. All right. Absolutely. You start to do that without a problem. Um. Before we go to the captain. I regret to inform you we are no longer within coverage of any of the major quadnet boosters. Search time on Captain Zero will be extended by a further one and a half to two hours. Understood. Captain, you see Rika is standing outside of the space, because I assume you wouldn't go into that space with the Dwarvash before the captain arrived. No, I mean, I was... Probably heading that direction yeah. as meeting the captain, so I was probably not in, even in there yet. Yes. Uh, but I was heading that direction, so. Correct. The two of you meet each other in the corridor outside. Tidoho. Rika. Um, Yellow, uh, I would like to have you here up with us as well, please. Oh, on my way, Captain. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm just uh, looking at something right now. And I'm gathering his food that I made so it's not being burned. <laughs> the uh, small people are not armed. Yeah, I would like to. Can can we again go to the um, one way screen, look through, um, and talk to them? Oh yeah, absolutely, not a problem at all. You wish. Yellow will. Uh, you're going to join the captain. Yellow. Correct. Yeah, I'm gonna hand him a, a paste uh, at the snack I made. It's like it's like basically jalapeno peppers wrapped in spinach. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> you look really hungry, Captain. I'm just making sure that you uh, you fill up. You know, you got to keep that brain moving. Requires a lot of calories, a lot of uh, sugar. So I uh, put a bunch of peppers in here. For you yeah. Well. Bow down. Thank you. Um, and while I while I try to open the com, I will just eat one. Are they ghost peppers? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just, you can see yellow, he's just doing this. Just like kind of watching every reaction on your face yeah. and seeing so how you're doing. If Captain O is slightly like Till is, he's dying because I cannot eat <laughs> spicy. Um, so I assume I have to do something like a check on that. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> oh my goodness. This I is a physical, physical resistance, resistance. or performance. <laughs> oh well, God. physical resistance to actually survive, performance to carry on as if nothing happened. <laughs> you just start crying. So physical resistance is a nine. Nine's because not I... bad. Yeah, it's oh. not bad. You will start sweating profusely, and your mouth will feel as if it has not ever once had the kiss of water in it, but you can continue if somewhat strained. Yeah, I would like well, to occasionally do a hiccup. <laughs> I would like to do, to do a performance check. Yes. Just to show yellow how delicious that is. Give me a performance <laughs> check. You can give me a psych <laughs> check, uh, yellow I think, psychology. I yellow. think I have to put physical into oh. that. <laughs> As yes. you stand there shaking. Yeah, and <laughs> coughing. Um, so I will put two physical into All right. that. It's a natural one. Um, 13. <laughs> I, 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 as I see, I look at him and I go, oh, 373 failed. <laughs> I just crossed that out. <laughs> Captain, you appear to be dying. <laughs> I had yes. him uh, a I, vial no, of water. I'm fine. It's delicious yellow. It... <coughs> I, give, I give him, I have a, a canteen of milk of like some sort of like weird goat. 
that I found on some world and I had it. <laughs> you, you, wait, you found the goat on the world. You're like, I'm going to milk this. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> I mean, it's yellow. Are you surprised? <laughs> I assume that by now I'm just wiping yeah. tears away so I don't see anything. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh my god, is it curdling? Like, oh, did you refrigerate oh, it? Nasty, Maybe. nasty. Oh, All right, let that guy decide. <laughs> oh no. Give me a luck check till roll a d12. Well, roll me a luck check. <laughs> roll for goat milk and space. Yeah. Space goat. Okay, that at least is <laughs> a seven. seven beats by five, so it hasn't curdled yet. And this particular species of goat, the milk, although it's like drinking. I kind of like drinking rubber because you swallow and it still sort of sits in your throat for a while. So you sort of <laughs> have to triple swallow to force it down. But it leaves this, this, it almost feels like a slime trail in its wake, but it's so cooling. It, it, it helps bring relief until it hits your stomach and then your stomach feels really heavy. But you, 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 you should be okay, except for the sweat and perspiration. <laughs> You oh just swallowed a snail in liquid form. Yeah. You're so nasty. <laughs> you're yellow. So nasty. You're, yes, Captain. That was out. Well, that. You didn't like it, Captain. I understand. I see it in your face. Days oh, no, no, no. That's, work hard. that's my face of joy and, and, and delight. <laughs> Captain, stop lying or he'll keep doing it. I will be. Uh, uh, I, will I will find you what you like, Captain. The Dwarvashian, I will briefly readjust. I will be back in a second. <laughs> right right there, Cap. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, do you want me to do the. Or do you want me to be nice? No, be nice to them. <laughs> right. Rika just gently Luckily. adjusts the air filters on her suit <laughs> just to keep the pepper breath oh, <laughs> out of the mask because her ears, her eyes are starting to tear up. And she doesn't have tear ducts. <laughs> Where did the captain go? There is the actually there are actually um, water closets uh, in the map. Um, oh. Some map designers are pedantic that way. Um, so he went into one of the water closets. <laughs> I, I go into the room as instructed. Really oh, good. into the room. Yeah. He told me to take care of it while he was doing. Sure. I will, I will follow in yellow. Uh, the Dwarvashians. One of them raises his hand. Uh, hi there, my name is Yellow. I'm a, I'm a, a security specialist on this here, Miss Daisy. I, we uh, picked up your uh, distress call and uh, decided to give you aid. Does anybody want any, uh, like, uh, dwarven ale or water or whatever? A, a, a thousand blessings for your saving us. We, uh, medical aid, please. Uh, I'm going to do a, I'm gonna, the doctor is going to come in and he's going to do a medicine check with no... With no power bonus and zero in the skill. Oh my god, please be schizophrenic. You just have like a doctor in your brain. Six. Uh, medicine skill of six. They've got burns. They've got lacerations. One of them looks like they've been on fire for a little bit. It's They're not looking happy at all. Mm. Uh, Daisy, do you think we can uh, treat them in this room? Or do I need to bring them um, to the other room? Treatment in a medical facility is always you mean the advised. house, right? Yeah, the house, right? The house would prove suitable. <laughs> All right, let you guys got to follow the doctor, and we're going to bring you to the house, and I'll uh, patch you up real good. I did say my name was Yellow. Yellow the doc, the doctor Yellow, and he's trying to figure it out as he's escorting these individuals. He's going to try to avoid the room that he knows the Sajeti are in. Oh, that's easy enough. So Absolutely. just in case they just like walk out and there's like an awkward So you do in. have an option. Normally you would just go down these stairs that are with the yellow railings here, mm -hmm. but theoretically it's closer to the Sajeti than taking them into the engineering room and going down the engineering st stairs into the lower deck. Yeah, yellow doesn't think they're much of a threat and he's going to keep an eye on them with Rick, with Rick, uh, with, yeah. him, with him, I think that you guys, they were going to be fine, so they're going to go down the engineering stairs. Sure, absolutely. Rika, are you doing anything? Uh, aside from trying to look as intimidating as possible, no. They're all She's good heavily... At it. She's small. <laughs> yeah, they're they're all heavily wounded. Um, they don't they that they're not they're not paying any attention to anything. Yeah, they, I will walk after the entire party, basically. So yellow is leading them, and I'm walking behind to see that they're not doing anything stupid 
Roll a luck check for me, please, Tobias. As you wish. That is a five. Yeah, I only rolled a one. So okay, my dice have been betraying me, but that's <laughs> absolutely fine. As you are walking towards medical, the one who spoke up earlier looks at you and says, Do you also feel the engine imbalance? Well, I would be glaring at him, but I'm wearing a suit, so he doesn't see that. <laughs> so I'm not actually going to reply to that one. Because um, that, I, Rika takes that as a personal offense. <laughs> if there's anything on this ship that is running as it should, it's the engine. Everything else is falling apart, but the engine is fine. All right? Don't offend the engine. Do you say this out loud? Or do no. you just like, keep quiet? <laughs> she just she tries to glare at him. And she notices that it doesn't do anything, so she I, keeps walking. I place my hand, my mitten of a hand, like on his like entire clavicle, and I'm like, "You just uh, move along now." <laughs> and I like back up Rika with her glare because I think I know you long enough to. I've said some stupid stuff, and you probably glared at me a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you crowd them down into the medical bay, and uh, as you are moving the ship Nova away you realize the Scorpion has fired three very large torpedoes and they just carpet detonate the area where those escape pods were. Sorry, you've already left space. Sorry, you're not even left. You're not even yeah, there. My apologies. Space. I don't know where I am. I'm in the wrong galaxy. Um, <laughs> yes, There's some angry why, clicking why, noises from yeah, inside. Yeah, my yeah. eyeballs back there. Your, you know? your spirit senses that that's what happened once you had left. Satisfactory. Yeah, there was, there was a satisfaction. Spirit yeah, sense that it happened four hours ago. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's a quantum. It's a quantum sort of resonance. Like I was there, but I wasn't. Echo. Yeah, absolutely. On we're that unaware note, of it, but we quantum phased. Yeah, we're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> absolutely. On that note, we're going to end this before I make more of a fool of myself. I don't know why I thought you were still there. It's so weird. Anyway, thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've had fun. I've had certainly had had fun. I I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> <sighs> I forgive you. So As a fellow GM, I forgive war. you. It happens. <laughs> you have four Dwarvashians on your ship and three Sejeti on your ship. Your ship is not very big. It's 45 meters long by 32 meters wide. One Bye. potential saboteur and um, I'm just puking my soul out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> and Rika is like three seconds away from just smashing this Dwarvish in <laughs> with a why... big wrench or something. This is why Daisy's my best friend. This is my best friend. <laughs> She's not my best friend. I don't have friends. Oh, that's <laughs> Hear that, Daisy? My best friend. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, until next week, thanks you all for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank you.